This week we smash through some very important boat jobs and enjoy an incredible sunset cruise. Today we've left Great Haywood. We've been there for a couple of weeks whilst we've gone on some little adventures out in the van and today is the day to move so we've gone up the first lock and we've filled up with water and we're now at the next lock. It's a lovely day but a little bit cooler and a bit more overcast which is good for cruising. So yes, we're on the move again. We're aiming to get to Stone today. I think there's five locks. We're at the second one of those five. So it shouldn't be too big a challenge. Here we are at the penultimate lock of the day. This is Sandon Lock and one of the paddles is broken on it. So a few people have said to us that it's filling super slow. It is a pretty deep block actually. I don't know how deep it is, how deep is it? Yeah, it's nine foot 11, so it's nearly 10 foot deep. Yeah, let's see how long this takes. The ground paddle is a paddle that's broken. So they're using the gate paddle, which as you can see is letting a lot of water through. So they're doing it a bit slower because otherwise you can get it all over your bow. There's a plate that directs the water sideways but on some uh, navigations such as the Rochdale they don't have that plate so it just shoots out so you can actually sink your boat if you're not careful. Okay it's almost 10 minutes later and yeah it looks like it might just be about full. Emily's got some help there. I think the problem is when it gets to this point it's just Fill in that last little bit so the gate will open, that's hard. There we go. It's also getting really hot now. Super hot. Well, we've made it to stone. He did all the locks and we're here. It has turned into a roaster of a day. If you've watched a lot of our videos, you might remember the first time we came to Stone and there was a heat wave. There's a river down there. We went and got in that. Tempting to do that again. I might go check it out and see what it's looking like. For now, anyway, we've got a bunch of stuff to get on with. Things to post out. Chores, tidying, Alan tickling. So, I'll say goodbye for now. Hi. Well, we've taken a window out. It has been leaking very slightly over our bed. It's not terrible, but we need to sort it out because that's not cool. Um, so Benny has done an amazing job of getting it out without smashing the glass. He's a pro now after doing Rambler. Uh, also, when whoever painted it last painted the boat, they went over the windows, as you can see. And then because it was already like this, I didn't bother to do the neatest job either. So yeah, I got a little bit more on. So we need to take all of this paint off and that's on every window. Some are worse than others. It wasn't on me, honestly. We've made some new friends, Claire and Roy, and they're very lovely. They actually brought us some treats around the other day, which was so sweet. They brought Benny some beer and me a juice and some flowers. Um, <laughs> 
so yeah that was really really lovely of them but they've also just given me some the mord dressed up from us some really fine wire wool so i'm gonna use that to like kind of buff up the the aluminium i've already started doing it i don't know if it'll show on the i've literally just started but it is incredible it's just like taking off this weird tarnish it's not scratching it so yeah, it looks way better so I, i've got some paint stripper as well to like get off like the really bad stuff um which obviously is horrible stuff but i think it's just super thick and i need to use a little bit but yeah we just want to make the windows look a bit nicer yeah. and stop that one from leaking luckily that's the only window that leaks so it's pretty good yeah there's quite a list of jobs that we've got for work on this boat and this is the one that we've chosen to do first because the weather's good and it is a pressing issue Although as it leaks stop. in a storm. So yeah, you'll be seeing a few more jobs coming from us because we've got a lot to do. You can see all the paint around the window frame. It's pretty bad. They really need a good clean. They're really gross. Very excited. the end of this. Just like Karate Kid. Karate? Yeah, Karate Kid. Karate Kid. <laughs> Karate. You try to figure out what Emily's doing, Alan? Hmm? Okay, so we've done the best we can at cleaning the window frames and the old one is now going back in we sealed it and uh, i'm going to show you an after of the porthole shiny it's not perfect but it is a lot better windows still need a bit of work that one definitely needs still polishing we've been at it all day i'm just going to get this one back in and then do something else i think it almost doesn't look like our boat benny there's no paint on the windows They've never been that clean. I've had the boat for over three years and they we've never taken the paint off them that from the last people who painted it. Well that's good. We just need to do that last window, that needs scrubbing. Shouldn't have any it hasn't got very much paint left on it now, so that's good. And then we'll do the other side at some point. And the boat just generally needs a clean because it's filthy. Yes. Hey Alan, you alright? We're over here. Hi! These are all lovely and clean now. I'm pretty sure some people wash their windows every week. <laughs> um, I think that they were just so horrible, like the frames and everything was so horrible from before we got them. It just didn't really motivate me to clean the windows. <laughs> That's really bad, isn't it? Obviously, I did occasionally clean the windows with like window spray and stuff, but it didn't seem to make any difference because it just looked, they just looked so gross still. So at least now, hopefully they're just going to look so much better. I know that it's not a huge job, but when you've got loads and loads of other things to do, I don't know, that one definitely took a back seat. Thing is, all the little jobs will add up to one big job and we'll be like, we've done it. Yeah. What's the next one after the windows, Benny? I think we do the back. What does that involve? Take everything off. We'll scrape down this paint and we'll repaint around here. But as well, I think a follow on from that job is to get this repainted green. I, it's the same green that I used on Rambler. So we, it, it will only take a few hours to, yeah. to touch that up. So all this needs the yeah the stern needs cleaning basically yeah, it's just it's touching up it's just it's building the momentum to get it going and then it won't be as big a job as it seems right now well so. that seemed like a massive job and we've done it yeah yeah so that's good i felt confident because i've done the windows in rambler i thought it'll come off and there was one point where i didn't think the window would come off but it did right what's next we need to tidy up clean everything and have a sit down what are we having for dinner i don't know yeah, what are we having? So if you didn't know, we're in stone. And just up the towpath, there's an M&S. And if you're not from the UK, I'm pretty sure they don't have M&S in 
any other countries, but it's like, I don't know if it's a posh supermarket. It's definitely more it expensive. Is. They do have cheaper stuff as well, but they have it's fancy. great stuff. They have such fancy food there. And the problem with being moored so close to one is it's always tempting. What should we have? Well, it's Sunday, so they're not close at four. Oh, bean salad then. I'm guessing it well, it's 10 to five. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, okay, that's good then. That's good, sort of. I've just checked, the m and is open for 10 more minutes. Forgot my wallet. No, I'm not gonna make it, am I? What shall we have though? We could have a curry. Salad? Oh yeah. That's better than oh, a curry, I yeah. think for this kind of temperature. Yeah, we don't have the right stuff for a curry in there. What, what did we end up with then? Toast salad. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> this is refined. It's um, ended up being a joint effort. I made a salad of some beans. Joint I had effort. had this bit of like drying out <laughs> bread and before Emily made this salad with like broken up bread in it with garlic rubbed on it. This was ages ago. It's like an Italian thing. The tomatoes. And I kind of wanted to do a similar thing, but I wasn't sure. And then Emily just, she was like, don't worry, I'm going to add all this stuff. In. And she added in oh, the, the bread and the garlic all rubbed on it. And these little sunflower seeds toasted. The pumpkin seeds. And it's just helped like, it's just brought it together. So it's just another example, everybody, of how teamwork can really leave you on top of the world. But yeah, it's very good. It's very good. Quite crunchy. There's absolutely no moisture left in the bread. But that is how the Italians like it. It's healthy anyway. Mm. Authentic. The next day, I gave the stern a deep clean. Benny got to work on grinding any rust spots away, and then we thoroughly covered it with a rust converter called Vactan. This needed to sit on the rusty bits for at least 24 hours, so that was all we could do for now. It is the next day, 24 hours have passed. The Vactan has been on for the amount of time it needs to be on. And because it's kind of like a primer, I think we can just paint straight over it. So the idea, I don't think we've mentioned yet, but um, the idea is that we were gonna paint this all green, sort of the same as this. Well, it is the same. It looks absolutely awful right now. This is where all the vac tan has worked, which is good. The black is good. And we can paint straight over this. So yeah, should we go with green or should we go with red? Okay, we're now keying the paint. Ready to paint and we've decided we're gonna go for the green. Yeah. Going for the green. Yeah, there's some left. A good it's quite left, a lot so. left from when Benny painted Rambler. But yeah, like I said, it's exactly the same green. We actually bought it for this boat but we've just never got round to doing it. So yeah, gonna key Ooh. this, all this up and then get the um, undercoat primer on. You helping? Okay, phase two complete, phase three complete. I don't know what phase that was. Phase. I don't know what phase we were up to. No, I didn't. I don't know what. Uh, so it's got the undercoat primer on it, and we need to leave that for 24 hours now. Boat's going to look new soon. It's already looking way better. We've only done what three days. Yeah. And we've already done quite a few long overdue jobs. Next day, it was time to paint. Done the first coat. It's going to take some getting used to, I think. Um, obviously, it looks far, far better than it did before. It's quite powerful, isn't it? That green. You just, yeah, got to kind of see through all the junk. <laughs> That's just the first coat. So once it's got another coat on, I think it's going to look good. Yeah, really happy with that. Just glad it isn't horrible and grey anymore. I've got some work to be getting on with for my Etsy shop. So I'm going to do that for the rest of the evening and then I think tomorrow 
I'm gonna try and do another coat depending on the weather. Getting some good jobs done. Very happy. Hello, it is a few days later. I never got around to painting the stern again, so it's still only got one coat on it. It is about half past five in the evening on a Friday. Benny's just got back from visiting his family and we have decided that we're gonna move Rambler um, up some locks. So we're in stone and there's eight locks to get through before we can get to Barliston. We're actually going away for two weeks. So we've got today and tomorrow to move the boats. So it's a bit of a last minute trip that we're doing. We're going to a couple of festivals. So yeah, the plan is because it can get pretty busy on a Saturday, we're gonna move them now. There's no one moving at the moment. It's amazing weather. Look at that. Beautiful, not too hot, not too cold, no one moving. So it's gonna be hopefully really easy. Um, the aim is to just get up four locks tonight. Benny's just getting rambler ready. We've got some watermelon and pineapple and a nice drink. We've just had sandwiches for dinner <laughs> because that was something really quick. And uh, yeah, we're gonna set off. Oh, it's really sunny. Not sure if I explained that very well. The reason we wanna move from here is because we're going away for two weeks. We need the boats to be somewhere that we can leave them for two weeks. So that is a place called Barliston. Oh, what's this? <laughs> You've got a beer and some corn picnic eggs. Well, we are gonna smash those locks, aren't we? Can't do it without prime fuel. Yeah. High grade, top notch fuel. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. fast going up locks with Rambler because she's so small you can just crank the the paddles open and it doesn't matter at this rate could even do all eight oh yeah should we just see how we go anyway yeah treat yourself well share your hearts And then just another four tomorrow. Well, eight. So we have two boats. We did it, pretty much. Yes. <laughs> so glad. <laughs> oh. Last little bit, but time for an egg. One of those egg things. Go on then. Oh my god. Well, we don't waste it. Ah, oh, nearly. Oh, good, it wasn't wasted. Oh, it's so dry. Yeah, they're dry. Oh my. Really dry. Posture of peace. That was the last lock, so now it is time for us to moor up. And we've got there whilst there is still light in the world. Yay! Check out the sky. Yeah, well happy about this. It just means half the work tomorrow and the next place we're going to isn't actually that far at all. I think it's about maybe three miles or something. So, yeah. Right, time for a shower. And we will catch you tomorrow. Good night.
Next morning, we made our way up the final four locks. We've done the last lock. Benny's just gone ahead to get Rambler and pull her back onto the lock landing so that we can tie her onto this boat. So we can tow her again to Barliston. It's not far now, but yeah, just where Rambler was moored, I wouldn't have been able to get in, so that's why he's pulling her back. Okay, we're off. Okay, so I'm chilling on the roof of Rambler, literally being towed along by Emily. Is this wrong? Let us know in the comments. We're here, we're at Barliston. It is raining. Okay, we are all moored up. We found a flat bit. So that the boat wasn't on a corner. Makes it a lot easier for tying on. <sighs> and the rain is coming. Over the next couple of episodes, we hit the road again for a two week road trip. First, we head to the east coast, visit a friend you may recognise, oh, yeah. and then we take you to a spectacular festival in the south of England. Okay, we're getting crumpets.